Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another space station and I am very shiny today, I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway, we're looking at a space station called the Spheric Trade Outpost and it is this thing right here. It's a lovely, fairly small station for you to come and do whatever you want to do, do some contracts, do some trading or just have a general meeting spot. Let's just go around the outside like so so you can get a better look at it. So it is general sphere shape of the actual trade station, and then we have this little offshoot on it where the hydrogen tanks are being stored. And there we are. So pressing F10 and finding the trade station. There it is. This trade station weighs in at 1,510 large blocks. It uses the decorative block DLC pack, and that's it. So it's great for survival mode if you wanted a space starting place instead of using the traditional drop pod. So let's start by going around the outside, then I'll attempt to land a ship from my previous video onto this platform, then we'll head on inside. So at the very front here, we've got our landing pad with some lovely glass windows going all the way around the edge. We've got some connectors there for you to connect up your small ships to, and some black and yellow blast door edges going all the way around, making it very clear where you need to connect up to. If I was to drop down and come around here, we've got a black rim that goes all the way down and underneath the station, which connects up to this beacon, which goes down on interior pillars to an unfinished one at the very bottom. If I was to come all the way around like so, we'll have a orange cargo container with some piston heads covering up the connector points on it to make it look even better. We've got some blast door parts just coming off the main body of the station for extra decoration, and we can see the conveyors coming out of the cargo container going to the two pads, which is how we're going to be all connected up. If I come along to here, to the opposite side, we find the conveyor comes all the way across to here, which is our hydrogen tanks, which have been very nicely hidden up and decorated using modules and the rounded blocks. We've got the digital camouflage skin on there, and it does look great. It threw me off at first. I thought these were refineries just looking at the front, but they are hydrogen tanks. And we've got an auction farm at the front there, we've got some grey digital camouflage, we've even got some stairs hidden away in there, and we come over to here where we've got some black and blue blocks leading to the very edge where our conveyor once again returns and connects up to our connector over here. So this allows us to connect a much larger ship up to the station, but that's not going to stop me, oh no, I'm going to ram that large ship straight into that pad whether this station wants me to or not. We can just come around up and above here, we can see that these little rims have been connected via some interior pillars like that. We just come all the way up to the top and that leads over to the main spherical part of the base. We can just drop down and come behind it. We've got another auction farm. We've got the exact same pattern on the back as we do on the front. So we've got the modules there, we've got the stairs. And we can see over here, we've got some unfinished spotlights with a piston head on the end. Then we come across to the actual main station itself, where we see we've got lots and lots of glass, which allows us to be very open. Now, I will just point out right now that this is intended to be for the competition, I believe. So there won't be any defences on this, because it will be in a safe zone, protecting it from getting damaged and whatnot, and being infinitely powered by cheats. But yes, the station itself is a white sphere with some blue triangles on there. It reminds me of the space stations from Elite Dangerous. You know those big things with the mail slots you have to fly through. There's always that one damn orca that gets in your way and you end up getting a bounty just because it crashed into it. But yes, that's what it reminds me of. At the very back, we've got a window viewing in at the gubbins of the station where we've got some catwalks covering it up and we've got some unfinished ladders just connecting off them for some extra decoration. We just come around to the side here, we just see the bottom which we saw earlier, just come up the side here where we once again see inside the main portion of the station we've got plenty of tables, kitchens, sofas, lockers and all that. Go around that in just a second. Rising up we can then see our lodging where we're going to sleep in our beds. Then just coming around to here we can once again see inside the station, there are the beds and their little windows and then dropping down here we've got a sign above it telling us that we're a trade station and some unfinished catwalks going on the edge there, just for a bit of safety. And that about covers the outside of the Spheric Trade Outpost. It's bloody fantastic design, and I do like the openness of the station, just having the glass everywhere allowing you to peer inside at the potential people who would be going around and doing whatever they want to do. But now it's time for me to get into my character, and we're just going to hop along to this ship 
and landed on that little tiny pad. So we're just going to come over to here. I'm going to break my way into this ship. I'm sure I'll be fine. There we go. We don't need no oxygen. And in we get into the flight seat. We're just going to turn off the projector, which was over here. And now it's time to fly on over to the station. I'm sure this work. I'm pretty sure this is bigger than the station itself. Yes, it is. But we're still going to land this. There we go. Let's just come around to here. I'm sure I'll stop in time. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're a little bit bigger. <laughs> just just a wee bit bigger, but I'm still going to get this onto the station. There we go. Yes. That has now been parked on the station. I'm quite happy with that parking. There we are. And now we can get into the station. So here we are at the actual station itself. We can come through this door and hope no one tries to steal my ship. It's been all docked perfectly. Yes, in the door. There we go. We have an air vent below us with an unfinished catwalk just covering it up. And then we can just come through this door. And now we're on the main body of the station. We've got two giant glass windows, so let's view down below. And we've got lots and lots of custom LCD screens with fancy items on them. So we've got contracts, markets, we've got what could be Coca-Cola, but it's got something else written on it. Russian space food, plenty of DLC blocks going all the way around, and a missing space sofa. So if you've seen the missing space sofa, be sure to contact the developer of this station, because I'm sure he'll want that back and will reward you handsomely. But yes, we've got our contracts there. We've got our store over here. We've got our DLC corner chair. We've got an air vent and a locker and a doorway that leads down below. We will just drop down here because there's not too much to talk about because this is your general governs of the ship. We've got our refineries, our batteries and all that. But we do have places for our maintenance workers to sleep and live their lives. So on this side, we've got beds, lockers and a kitchen. If we walk around through here, we then have access to this cargo container and an LCD screen just latched onto a gravity generator. Walking around to here and coming back around to this side, we then have another locker. We've got a table, we've got the toilet, and this way leads to the opposite side of that cargo container with once again an LCD screen on a gravity generator. We can then come back up to here because you saw there was a button panel and these are what's going to control the station. So we've got our gravity generator, which we can turn on and off. We then have the trade hub toggle on and off. We then have the power which is the batteries and then we've got the assemblers on and off but we don't need to touch them we can just walk all the way around and leave that area we can then walk around here we've got plenty of stuff to be doing we can sit on this chair and well it's actually a really nice wooden texture it goes very well on this block yes we go to the bar get ourselves a drink have someone serve you there we've then got a planter over here with an auction farm which is purely for decoration although it might be able to get sunlight for that window i'm not sure Anyway, we've got a table over here where we can just talk with your friends, or you can sit over here and talk with one other friend. We can have this one over here, which has a brilliant view outside at space. Or you could use the corner chair right here and just talk. We then have a locker over here for you to store stuff in, and a toilet that's not very private, because you could have someone sitting over here taking a gander at you on the toilet. Yes, you would need to put something in front of that if you want some privacy, but... Got the suits, I don't think you really need privacy with these. Anyway, moving along to the opposite side, let's take a better look over here. So we've got the same type of table set up. We've got some desks here, we've got a corner chair, we've got some lockers, or armories, whatever they're called these days. More tables where we can view out at the perfectly parked ship. And then we've got our planters, our auction farm. Russian space food, which we can order from this bit over here. We can walk around there. How do you actually get into that? That's a good point. How do you get into this area right here? I'm going to have to eh, wedge myself there. There we go. <gasps> they are trapped in here forever. So if you get a job in this station, you'll be serving the customers forever. Anyway, let's come out of this area. Just walk around to here. Oh, what's happened to it? Oh, God. There we go. We have the same story like the opposite side. We've got a toilet there where the person sitting here could easily view you doing whatever you were doing. But that about covers this room and it does look like a proper station. In fact, if I was to look at it like this, it kind of reminds me of a train station where these are like your ticket machines and you'd run around here to get to the train. But yeah, it does look good. It's quite open for a small station and there's plenty of room to have multiple players in here doing whatever they needed to do. So the next part would be to go upstairs to our lodging area where we have our beds and tables and all that for you to spend the night and do whatever. So we once again got our DLZ tables there for you to have your meeting, perhaps even have some lunch, 
we got a bed down here. But these are not the main sleeping areas. The main sleeping areas are right above us. We've got some more corner chairs. Then have our little store over here. We can buy a few little bits and bobs. We've got our planters. We've got even more chairs going around here. So this is like your recreation area. We can talk to other adventurers about their journeys over to the station and how some plonker parked their ship through the platform. Then we can just walk around here. We've got another bed. We've got more tables. We do have a toilet here, which is quite hidden away. It'll be only these people over here. If they're sitting like that, could be able to see you. Then we can just come around to here, up a ladder, which I'll go up properly this time, all the way up. And here we are. So we got some more beds all the way around here, which is how your station inhabitants will be going to sleep. Plenty of beds. Lock is here to store your guns in overnight. And yes, just a nice view outside and all the way around to here. Then we can just drop down. And that about covers the interior and exterior of this lovely station. I will just go through the command panel over here. There we go, let's view everything in here. So we've got our lights, powers, air vents, there's our armory lockers, our assemblers, plenty of bathrooms, lots and lots of beds, then have our contracts, lights, desks, gravity generator, just one of them, three hydrogen tanks, lots of lockers, lots of auction farms, auction tanks, Lots of efficiency modules, which I don't think are connected up to anything. They're the ones of the hydrogen tank. A small reactor as backup power. Our stores, panels, yield modules. And yes, there's quite a lot of stuff in there. Just checking this. So we've got 1,495 blocks, 482 non-armored blocks, 163 conveyors, no thrusters, five lights, one spotlight, one gravity generator. And yes, that is a lot of good stuff. Very light on performance, very light on blocks and a perfect way to start your adventure in survival mode. So with that all said, it will be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. In fact, I will because I haven't done it for a long time and I did see a comment, this station will not survive. There we go. I'm sure this will work fine. There we are, let's go and blow up the station so we got all the warheads. And start the countdown, we need to escape. Uh-oh. Ooh. And kaboom. Kaboom? There we go. Ah. Good old explosions. Oh, wow. <laughs> it almost hollowed out the station. And the ship is still in one piece. How disappointing. But anyway, like I said, that is it for this video. It's simply a lovely station for you to spawn into your world if you wanted to. And I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye-bye.